Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do a block called the sickle. So for that you're going to need two 7 inch squares. I chose one white, one blue. You're going to need four white 3 and a half inch squares and four blue 3 and a half inch squares or whatever color you choose. So for starters we're going to turn these into this four patch. So it's pretty easy. We're going to start there. We're just going to match opposite ones up. And I'm not going to pin them. I'm just going to take it over there and then I'll grab this one while we're over there. So let's head over. Just quarter inch right down. Grab the other one, line it up. Part. Cut that starter off. Let's head back over. We're going to iron them open to the blue. And we're going to just opposite them. And then the, the seam will nest right in there it at the seam and at the end and at the beginning this is all wonky but it'll work out I am NOT going to uh, pin at the beginning well let's try the other side this is starting to irritate me I'm gonna pin this will line up better and then I can trim it if I need to And I'm not going to hold it at, or I'm just going to hold it at the front. I'm not going to pin it. So let's go over to the sewing machine. All right. Half of our block is done with our two four patches. Let's iron it open and we have two beautiful four patches. This one uh, we're going to turn into half square triangles and again I'm going to do it because it seems to be working okay for me. I'm going to line them up. I'm going to pin half of it. Now I do like, I do like to draw the line down, but this seems to be working okay for now. So I'm going to try it until it doesn't. And we're going to spin it around. Now half of it is pinned and we are going to just cut it corner to corner. Now we're going to pin the second half. And we're going to go sew them down. Now we're going to iron them open and trim what we need. 
on all four blocks because I'm not sure what we got. We always have to double check. Well, we don't have to, but it's best to double check. Now we want them to be six and a half inches because our finished block will be 12 and a half. So we're going to move that out of the way. Grab our square. Line up our diagonal. And it is pretty perfect. Now we're going to just trim off these anyway because why not? Spin it around. I didn't close that. I am aware. Sorry. Don't come for me. We're going to turn it around. Line up the diagonal. Line up the six and a half, and that will line up the di if, when you line up that diagonal, it'll line up your other two sides and cut them off. There's one, and let's do the other one. We're going to line up the diagonal as close to this edge as possible because we don't want to trim off too much. Spin it around, line up the six and a half, and then the diagonal, and that will line up the six and a half inch line on both sides. Slice it off. Now we're going to also do these. So the three and a quarter line will go on the dot there, and they are good anyway. So, but I want to spin it around because this is not even. So I'm going to line up my six and a half right there. And that will line up my three dot and then just a little there. But I'm going to leave it actually because it's not that much and it'll still work out. So now we're going to lay out our block. We're going to lay these two like that. And then this one goes here. And this one goes here. These two are opposite, but this is the same. So now we're just going to fold them over, pin and sew. Well, I'm not going to pin. Well, yes, I am going to pin at the end. And then this one. I'm going to pin here at the end, and I'm pinning over to the side so I don't actually have to unpin it when I get down there. So let's line this up again. Now I'll take that out and then the other one we're going to line up the beginning again. Head back over, iron it open. There, there it is. Now, actually, I am going to press these to this side, but I'm not gonna, I didn't cut it apart, and that'll just help me line it up. And the reason I'm pressing to this side, even though there's a seam in the middle, is because this is a seam right here, and if I press it there. It's going to be more bulk. So then we just fold it over because it's already together the way it should be. And we will pin in the middle and the end and the beginning. All right, so let's head back over. last one didn't but I'm not really sad about it because it's just fun. If 
much stress about it and everything had to be perfect, I probably wouldn't sell. Cut that off. Cut the starter off. Let's go back over. And iron it open. That crossed over pretty well if you can see that. So it very well might be a great point. Well, what have I done? Oh, I didn't unpin it. Sheesh. So it did line up on the one. The points are good. They're just not together. But, you know, can you even tell? Okay, you can tell, but is it really a big deal? How's it go? There it is. It is called the sickle. I like it. It's fine. It's good enough. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And I will see y'all next time. Oh, sorry, I shook that.